Hey folks, welcome to Market Intraday Analysis by InTheMoneyStocks.com, your leaders in pure technical analysis, avoiding all that Wall Street hype. Today, Friday, January 22nd, 2010. Well, the markets are selling off again, folks, as we see the Dow down about 67 points on the day, the NASDAQ down 19, and the S&P 500 down about 7. That's really about three-quarters of 1% drop again on the back of a 2% drop yesterday, and previously we even had another drop the day before. Net-net, we're down about 4% in three days, folks. I mean, it has been a brutal drop. The market's really collapsing to the downside. As you can see, again, we are down today on the day. First of all, you started with a small gap down, just a minor gap gap down right here on the back of some ugly earnings from Google. Google again selling off today. Not the greatest of earnings what Wall Street was expecting. Google right now is trading down about $20 on the day. Here's Google's chart intraday. In addition, we had some decent earnings coming out of General Electric. General Electric giving the markets a little bit of hope here, up $0.43 cents on the back of some decent earnings there at GE. Now again, what's causing the market to continue to sell off over the last couple days? Simply put, it is fear of bank regulation by Obama. Remember, Obama kind of now worried that the Democrats are on the back end of the kind of poll here or back end of the swing as the Republicans took that Senate seat in Massachusetts. And all of a sudden, he's starting to have to look at the big picture here and saying to himself, wait a minute, you know, so people are not happy with the fact that we've been bailing out banks, we've been giving them massive, uh, you know, kind of chump change that they can just play with. You know, Fed has been giving them free money to lend with no interest on it, and they're basically fat cats again here on Wall Street in the banking sector, now paying out billions and billions in bonuses. So all of a sudden, the Republican gets in there on the Senate side, it takes away the supermajority vote, and he Obama now has to come out and play hardball with the banks to show that he is against Wall Street, not for Wall Street. Markets don't like that, folks. We've had an 80% rally in the NASDAQ, 75% in the S&P and the Dow off the lows in last March. And from that point, folks, now you're starting to see how, again, that was all because Obama was a friend to Wall Street, helping Wall Street out. Now, all of a sudden, it becomes not so clear if he's going to be so friendly because, again, how is he going to get reelected? How are the Democrats going to get reelected if all of a sudden one of the biggest Democratic areas in Massachusetts you know, can vote in a Republican? It's a huge shock, trust me, for the political world. Now, let's go back to the charts, folks. We talked about General Electric earnings coming out a little better than expected. Google earnings coming out a little worse than expected. Again, technology is the weak sector today, obviously. Banks, again, are weak. We see Goldman Sachs down about $4. Let's touch on Goldman Sachs. There you have Goldman Sachs. Again, it's off the lows. was all the way down to about 153 but now it's back to about 156 and change on the day. Still down on the day by about $4.5. Now, the SPY, again, folks, let's talk some major levels. What are the major levels? There is one pivot point in this chart that is above every other pivot pivot point out there. And I'm going to tell you exactly what it is. See this multicolored pivot right here? This is what you're looking at for the day. I don't care about any other line on this chart right now. This line right here is everything. If the market stays below this line, which by the way was yesterday's lows and today's highs, if you stay below this line, the market can sell more or hover to the downside and will stay negative. If the if the market pushes above, if the SPY gets above 111.50 to 111.55, closes above, you will see buy programs hit this market, and the market has a high probability of trading as high as 112 or above. Watch this line, folks. This line is everything. If you get above this line, the market will end positive for the day. I don't care if it happens in the next five minutes about going above that line. If you go above that line, close above that line, you will stay above that line for the rest of the day. Trust me, it's that big of a pivot. So watch that pivot point, folks, very, very closely. Now, remember, you need a close above. You just can't have a pierce. You have to get a close above in that case. You can even look for confirmation if you want to be super, super careful. But that is my analysis right now based on this multicolored trend line that I put in. It is the general big pivot for the day. Day. As long as we stay below, the market will trade down. You can see it today. Gapped below it, pushed down. We went right back to it, pushed down again. So you can see how this line, again, is a huge level in this market. Now, if you get above it, where are you going to most likely go? You have a little pivot right here at, let me get a price on you, that's at 112.05. If you get through that, you're going to go to 112.45. On the downside, you're sitting right on a little bit of support right here on the intraday basis. That is at 111. If you break 111, you're going to go to a double bottom at 110.50. 110.50 to 110.55 is the low of the day. That would be a scalping opportunity. Now, there have been some big plays called out today. I want to cover them. Last night, for those of you that are research center 
Center subscribers. And for those of you that may be thinking about becoming a Research Center subscriber, I put out personally a hot chart and alert. Now, the hot charts and alerts are part of the Research Center. Everything listed under the Research Center is part of the Research Center. You get it for $49.99 a month. I put out this hot chart and alert, NEM, based on this trend line. Based on this level, based on the 200 moving average, as you can see, if you scan all the way back, you have a key trend line right here to this pivot point low. If you go to today, you can see I put out the alert at 44.50 to 43.75. Anywhere in that range would be a buying opportunity on NEM. Today, it gapped down to 44.04 on an intraday basis right here. Gapping down into that range triggers the hot chart and alert. The hot chart and alert triggers at the gap down price of 44.04. It ran all the way up to a high of 45.69. That's over a dollar fifty gain on this hot chart and alert, folks. And biggest no-brainer. Notice how we're finding the long plays that are actually up in the market and able to give you guys them the day before it happens. This was one of the best hot chart and alerts in the last day or so. It was a great one. And again, we're taking shorts off the some shorts off the table. I'll talk about that in a minute. But needless to say, here's a good example of what you get in the hot charts and alerts. It triggered based on a gap down into the range we listed on the hot charts and alerts. Look at that move up. Right up here, when we got to 45.10, I sold half personally. And again, from that point, I put an in-the-money stop of 50 cents. So even on the second half, I was in the money 50 cents. And then I let it run till it got to 45.60. I told the chat room at that point I would be taking it off the table at 45.60. It went to 45.69 and since then has pulled back. So a huge gain on that swing trade or short-term day trade, actually, because we bought it right at the open and were able to sell it by about midday or a little bit before midday today. But I'm just giving you guys examples of what you get. In addition, other things that I told the chat room edz had this guys unloaded it today at 40 uh, five dollars and 40 cents i unloaded another one third i'm still holding a little bit but i'm unloaded now two-thirds of my edz position for some good solid profits srs up another five cents i still hold two-thirds there and faz i unloaded a third of that at 19 dollars and 10 cents today 1910 or 1905 area unloaded one third of that FAZ after a huge run on the, the uh, charts. Look at this. From down here, you're talking about a run from basically the $16 range to the mid 19s today. Unbelievable move. Profits are being taken. Again, we've probably had one of the best you know, three-day periods in this market as we positioned ourselves and called it perfectly uh, to the downside as we told everyone this was going to happen, uh, again, right at this time frame in just, you know, so long. I mean, the profits are just rolling in uncontrollably almost to the point uh, of just excess. In any case, we're enjoying it while it lasts. There are always new swing trades every day. I already see new hot charts and alerts to post uh, for tonight's video, uh, tonight's action in the hot charts and alerts. Plus the tonight video, I will go over some key plays that I like, and I did post some new stuff on the hot charts and alerts already today for people to start to look at and get ready for those trades and take those trades. So it's just everything's out there. But let's go back to the SPY. I want to touch on the 60-minute chart because the 60-minute chart is really what I highlighted to my premium subscribers as a chief market strategist. I do the analysis pretty much 24. Or seven on this market and obviously we have our methodology now one thing I want to mention folks is you have a possibility here we have a, a deal running in this uh, trading environment right now through Sunday if you and a friend join up you each get one week free so if you're a new member you've never been involved you can have your friend sign up and then both of you get a free week so you'll pay each for a month period and you'll get five weeks in essence so I encourage you to do that what you have to do is you have to email us each your names uh, so it cross references it and then you have that that ability all right watch that and again that's a great way to utilize it it only lasts through Sunday 12 p.m. Eastern time so you have to get up and get signed up now all right in addition folks we also have the webinar Saturday this is where we're teaching how we make these calls how did I know I, I was seeing an MA pattern right here that was gonna be a major breakdown and sure enough we nailed that call with the see the M a pattern and look how it broke down again that's all covered in the webinar our count systems you name it it's in there folks we encourage you to join up other than that folks just stay tuned to this market the hot charts and alerts pro trade to watch this nightly 40 minute videos technical tactics daily market reports you name it it's all included in the research center or join the chat room for live commentary I'm in the chat room pretty much you know three quarters of the day giving plays out commentary guidance education it's all there have a wonderful day folks we'll talk to you tomorrow take care